Alrighty, Katie, so in honor of the Olympics, I have for you tofu kimchi stew. It is super warm and comforting and absolutely delicious, so I know that you guys will enjoy the recipe. So to start off with, I have about a tablespoon of olive oil and then to that I'm going to add about a half of a white onion that I've sliced up and then um, this is about a half a cup of beef crumbles and I'm just gonna stir it around probably at medium heat just until the onions soften just a little bit. After about one to two minutes, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic paste so that it does not burn. Afterwards, a nice healthy pinch of salt for a good measure, and then I'm going to add about one third of a cup of kimchi that I've sliced up. And um, to that, I want to probably include about three to four tablespoons of that kimchi liquid as well, as that's going to be really good flavor. And then right here, um, I have about two teaspoons of red chili pepper flakes that I've mixed with two teaspoons of sesame oil. So um, it can get quite spicy, so adjust it according to your needs. Now I'm going to add right around one cup of um, some water that I boiled down with some kombu and left to rest for about 15 minutes and that'll develop that nice kind of like sea flavor because we're not going to be using anchovies for this one. And then I, uh, you know, basically boil it for about two to three minutes. Now right before I'm about to add the tofu to finish off the dish, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of brown rice syrup and that's just really to adjust for all of the flavorings. So this is a half package of silken white tofu and if you want you can cut it up into cubes so that it's a little bit more neat but um, actually a really cool way of doing this is to kind of just rip it with your hand so it's a little bit more organic. So in that goes, um, the heat is still at about um, medium so it's just bubbling away right now and um, I'm going to just top it off with some scallions. You can put in um, some sesame oil if you want at this point as well. Um, I'm actually going to top it off with a little bit of nori seaweed because I really enjoy the flavor that way and you just cook it for about another two to three minutes and um, you're basically all set. Honestly, this is probably a 10 minute stew for me. Um, super comforting, super easy to do, and obviously you wouldn't serve it on top of the stove, but make sure that you serve it nice and hot and warm. And I usually do it with a bowl of rice onto the side so that I can mix them together and get just a really nice and hearty meal. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that um, y'all might try making it. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye!